Hello everyone, I'm Andrea, a junior student majoring in finance in National Jeonju University. What? You don't know where National Jeonju University is? No worries. Throughout this video, you'll learn more about this lovely university from Taiwan. Without further ado, let's get started. National Jeonju University, short for NCCU, is located in Taiwan. Taiwan is a tropical island with an area of 36,000 square kilometers, which is around 17 times smaller than Germany. Interestingly, such a small island contains a population of 23 million, with various ethnic groups speaking different languages and believing in different religions. But where exactly is Taiwan? Taiwan is located in the middle of East Asia, which is situated above the Philippines and across the Taiwan Strait from mainland China. The location makes Taiwan the heart of Asia, where many nearby countries can be reached within a four-hour flight and thus attracts many exchange students to travel around during their exchange period. Now you may ask, but where is NCCU? It is located in Taipei, which is the capital city as well as the economic, political, and cultural center of Taiwan. The world-renowned Taipei 101 was built here featuring shopping malls and offices of international enterprises such as Google, McKinsey, KPMG, etc. Taipei is also a traffic hub providing various means of transportation, including bus, MRT, high-speed railway, and train for people to travel around. It only takes two hours traveling from northern to southern Taiwan. For people who like to savor the city through cycling, most of the cities in Taiwan have rental bikes. For example, it is called U-Bike in Taipei. Tourists can borrow your bike from place A and return to place B with a low price. With such convenient transportation, why not grab a chance to explore the beauty of Taiwan? Taiwanese government set up nine national parks to reserve precious natural resources. Some popular ones include Kanding National Park, which is famous for its beautiful sunny beaches and valuable coral reefs, and Yushan National Park, where Yushan, the highest mountain in Northeast Asia, is situated. Apart from the beauty of nature, there are abundant famous tourist attractions in Taiwan as well. Fort San Domingo was built during the Age of Discovery in the 17th century and served as a British consulate in Taiwan. It now turns into cafes and museums for people to visit. In contrast, Ximending is a famous shopping and busking area in Taipei and is often crowded by youngsters. When it comes to popular tourist spots, how can night markets not be mentioned? In the night market, there are plentiful specialties that tourists from around the world can find their loved ones, including bubble milk tea, oyster omelette, stinky tofu, mango shaved ice, etc. They're definitely a must try when visiting Taiwan. In addition, food can also be associated with some traditional Chinese festivals such as Lunar New Year and Dragon Ball Festival. In the Lunar New Year, families would sit around the table and eat dishes that represent special meanings, such as fish, dumplings, radish cake, chicken, etc. As a tradition, people would also paste Chinese couplets on the door to praise good luck. For the Dragon Ball Festival, it is closely related to trad traditional Chinese legends. On that day, rice dumpling is the specialty that everyone must eat in order to commemorate an ancient patriot. Moreover, people hold Dragon Ball races and balance eggs at noon as entertainment. More detailed introduction of Taiwan can be found on the official website of the Taiwan Tourism Bureau and Taipei Travel. It's strongly recommended to browse them. Hey, speaking of browsing a website, are you using products from Apple or Asus? They're actually made from Taiwan. The chip of iPhone is manufactured by TSMC, short for Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, and the computer made by Asus is high in quality with favorable prices. Despite these companies, bicycle lovers might be familiar with the brand Giant. It is from Taiwan too. It has the highest market share in bicycles both in Taiwan and the world. Not only owning world-famous brands, Taiwan has ranked top in several global indicators as well. Newly has it that Taiwan ranked top one in the Global Healthcare Index by Numbio in 2022, representing that Taiwan has great capacity for receiving excellent health treatment. Furthermore, Taiwan has been the happiest country in East Asia by the World Happiness Report in 2021 and ranked number one by the World Press Freedom Index in the Asia-Pacific region in 2020. Now, with a brief understanding of Taiwan, let's get into National Jeonju University. 
The university was originally set up in Nanjing, China in 1927. However, due to the Chinese civil war between the Kuomintang and the Communist Party of China, NCC was temporarily halted in 1949. In 1954, a few years after the Kuomintang moved from China to Taiwan, the university relocated to Taipei. Over the years, NCCU has dedicated itself to education and research, and now it has a total of 11 colleges, 34 departments, and 48 graduate institutes, providing a great variety of subject areas for students to pursue. As for the College of Commerce, which shorts for NCCUC, is the oldest business school in Taiwan. Moreover, it is the first and the only business school in Taiwan to obtain three international accreditations of ASCSB, ASCSB Accounting, and Equus. Also, the College of Commerce is the 65th member of the PIM, which refers to a partnership in international management networks. NCCUC has a total of 149 professors and more than 4,300 students, making up more than 25% of the student body and becoming the largest college at NCCU, containing eight departments, one graduate institute, and three MBA programs. In addition, 99% of the professors in NCCUC have attained the PhD degree, and among them, 92% received the doctoral degree worldwide. Since 2006, the College of Commerce has sent one federal professor to Harvard to learn the case teaching method of Global Colloquium on Participant-Centered Learning. In 2008, Academia Excellentia, the case teaching classrooms, was set up and were renovated in accordance to the ones at Harvard Business School. Since NCCOC recently launched as an alliance partner of the Global Innovation Challenge that aims to create student mobility and foster global education, the Quibra allows master students to solve a real-life company challenge by participating. Also, in 2022, a two-week course titled Advancing the Growth with Digital Asia will be organized by NCCUC. Since there are almost 400 incoming exchange students in a year, NCCUC provides over 100 English top business courses, and NCCU as the entire university provides over 500 English courses over fields and areas. To learn Chinese, the NCCU Chinese Language Center provides great Mandarin courses. The complete learning system includes four levels for students to enroll in, so even the beginners don't need to worry. When you face difficulties and don't know what to do before coming to Taiwan or during your stay in Taiwan, NCCOC has launched a buddy program. By applying, each exchange student will be assigned with one to two local students to assist exchange students to be familiar with the new environment. And what are some facilities that NCCU has to offer? There are a variety of them for students to utilize. For instance, libraries, student lounge, swimming pool, and fitness center. Despite those venues, things that are highly praised by a lot of exchange students are activities hosted in NCCU. There are numerous clubs for students to join, including guitar club, service club, and sporting club. For the sports lovers, in December, NCCU Campus Marathon is definitely a must-do. It's a great opportunity to enjoy the marvelous scenery along the hiking trail on the uphill campus. Participants may get a chance to draw a lot if they finish the run. Lastly, the World Festival. Students coming from various countries will hold booths and sell their own hometown snacks to NCCU students. World Festival is the biggest multicultural celebration event on campus held annually in May. A series of activities, shows, contests, exhibitions are held during a whole week and international students can participate to represent their countries, showcasing their cultures, food, music, dance, etc and highlighting the cultural diversity at NCCU. Students can enjoy a colorful life here. Now you may wonder, though the activities sound appealing, would there be a big financial burden to stay in Taiwan? Don't panic. Let me explain. We can simply divide the cost of living into three parts, food, transportation, and accommodation. For food, a traditional Chinese meal costs around $180. Therefore, it costs around $380, which is 10 euros in total for the meals in a day. In terms of transportation, a bus ride costs 0.5 euro, and MRT can range from 0.5 to 2 euros depending on the travel distance. 
For the accommodation, the dormitory provided by NCCU can range from $40,000 to $60,000 NT dollars, which is around $1,500 to €2,000 Euros for a semester. Other fees that will be incurred by an exchange student include books, medical insurance, and other miscellaneous items. To sum up, the living cost for a semester ranges from €3,000 to €4,000 for a semester. Be sure to prepare more if you would like to travel around. Now, it almost draws to the end of the introduction. To wrap up from the previous minutes, let me tell you the five reasons why students should come to study in NCCUC. They are the nature surrounding campus environment, comprehensive English taught business courses, companionable faculties and friends, uncountable activities, and convenient transportation. These are the feedback from the previous exchange students as a reference. And that's all for today. Don't hesitate to join the exchange program at NCCUC. Thank you.